in my kitchen. I am Tina with Hanging with Frugal Tina. Thank you for tuning in. I truly, truly, truly mean it. And thank you for all the comments I've been getting. I love it when you guys comment. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you. Thank you one, thank you all. I love it. So let's get back to what we're doing today. We're doing, bang, another Dollar Tree video. Yay! We are going to make a monkey bread, but this is like the sweet one. We're doing the savory, and we're doing with all Dollar Tree ingredients, with the exception of one, but I did make it using Dollar Tree ingredients, and that would be some brown gravy, uh, because the only powdered brown gravy they had available to me had milk in it, and I couldn't give that to Eric. So I made a homemade brown gravy. I could probably throw it up as a short because I have one of just the of just the brown gravy. I made it a long time ago. So I can attach that at the end if I remember. But anyway, let's get right to it. We're going to be making a sausage cheddar monkey bread from the Dollar Tree. So let's get it, let's go, let's heat up the pots, come on. All right, here's everything you're going to need. Uh, well, what I'm showing you, you're gonna need more than what's out here. I'm kind of halving it. So I will tell you what the recipe calls for and not what I'm doing. I'm doing, you know, a third of the recipe for Eric and half of the recipe for us. So as far as the biscuits, these biscuits I got from Dollar Tree, these I did not. I have like four or five cans in my refrigerator I just didn't want to buy more uh, so you're going to need let's get to it three cans of biscuits and this is for the full recipe two cups of cheddar cheese and a breakfast sausage you're gonna need three-fourths cup of milk you're gonna need one package of dry brown gravy mix and one-fourth cup butter now the dry gravy mix usually has milk in it. Dollar Tree does sell this, and I found it today. There's only one left in there. But what I did was I make my own, so there's dairy-free brown gravy mix in there, and it's beef-flavored. So I'll, if I can remember, I'll attach that video at the end. If not, I'll get it up sooner or later. So let's get to getting and get to cooking. First thing I'm gonna do is brown up the sausage. And while that's browning, I'm gonna get to shredding this cheese. I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator because it's been sitting out for a minute and I want it just a little bit, a little bit colder to shred it. Alrighty, I got the pan on and we're just gonna cut right into this questionable sausage. Just. There we go. I'm going to do Eric's in here as well. And just take it and you twist it. When you get these, you just twist them and they come right out. That's why I cut it in the middle. I do that with the bigger ones. So you don't end up with all the meat in there. But this is smaller, so. Okay, we're going to get to getting. I'm browning this up real quick. And then we'll move on. I forgot to add that I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. So, forward, forward. And we're coming right along. We're almost done. So when we're done with this, I'll drain it and then we'll move back over there because that's the only cooking on the stove that we have to do was this sausage. I think I want to crisp it up a little bit, but it's done like this. All right, so I got some nice little brown crumbles in there. Uh, I got out my slotted spatula because this way I can get it out of the pan, get it out of the grease. So now we're going to move back over what there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the butter, um, I'll put it in a coffee mug, and I'm going to melt it in the microwave. And with Eric's, I'm just going to use this little ramekin because he only has a tiny bit. Now we're going to mix together the brown gravy mix, the melted butter, and something else, the milk. 
The recipe calls for three-fourths cup of milk, one package of gravy mix, which is one tablespoon, one-fourth cup butter. That's Eric's butter. And that's our butter. Here goes our milk for the dairy eaters. And here goes, this is heavy whipping cream, plant-based, but it's half water, half that milk. Because it has no flavor, it won't taste like soy, it won't taste like almond, it'll just be like milk with no flavor. So here's our homemade gravy. Putting that in there. So easy to whip this up. When I tell you, I think there's only like three ingredients in the whole thing. Just gotta whisk that together and set it to the side. Smells like brown gravy too already. It's that bouillon that's in there. All right, that's Eric's. And that is ours. Now, when I say Eric, that doesn't mean Eric's the only one eating it. If that's just the one that Eric could have. Sometimes he's the only one who, most of the time, he's the one eating it. A lot of the time, or a third of the time, he's getting help. Let's just say it like that. All right, that's all together. So now we got to get the biscuits out of the refrigerator. All right, that's Eric's. The reason I have different for him, this is the swirls one too. I have different for him is this biscuit has no dairy in it. It might have other things that other people are allergic to, but there's no hidden dairy in it. These Pillsbury ones, not Pillsbury, this is Walmart brand, but they have milk in them. Or does it? Yeah, has milk in it. Anyway, let's get back to this. All right, so let me open this. Is anybody else but me scared of these stupid cans? I'm like, in my head, I'm like, please don't pop, please don't pop, please don't pop. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, yes. Let me bang it. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these biscuits and we're, oops, oops, and we're going to cut them into four pieces. Had it sitting out so it's getting a little sticky. I like when they roll them like that because then you get those layers in there. Just want to stick to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go bam and bam. I got a little bowl over here. Boop. And we're just gonna chuck them right in that bowl. We're gonna do the whole pack. Now this does, like I said, it calls for three of the packs. We're only doing Eric a third of it. I kind of want them to stick a little bit together. All right, so let me make good time of this. I'll cut up this pack and our pack. Oh, Eric's is almost done already. So I'm just gonna do the same thing to ours. Did you understand that? I'm gonna do the same thing to ours. I've said it so many times, I'm sorry. All right, and now I'm just going to start on the bigger ones. 
You could roll these in balls if you want. I just don't think it's that serious. You're going to be grabbing it and picking it off anyway. Let me chop these up. So I decided that cutting them in four pieces was a little bit bigger than I wanted. So what I decided to do was just quarter it down. I, I mean, I quarter it. Cut it into three pieces instead of two pieces on each half. So I just kind of made a mark like that. You could do whatever you want. I didn't do that with the other ones because they are way too small. So there you go. Let me reconfigure so we can get on. All right, so we have Eric's over here. I had, I had to go do something. They kind of dried out a little bit, but they'll be all right in a minute. Um, to this, we're going to add the gravy mixture, but we're going to reserve just a little bit, uh, about three-fourths of it. So I'm going to put most of it in there. And if you overdo it, that's okay. And then this one is for us. Now I'm guesstimating what three-fourths of it is. But... All right, that feels about right. Then you're going to add your cheese, whatever portion that you're making, that's the amount of cheese you would add. I also added that I sprayed down the bunt pan uh, best I could. So Eric's, I'm just gonna put a handful in. That's just what I'm gonna do. With us, I have it already shredded. I tell you when it's eight ounces, but when I guess when you shred it, it, it it's lifts up. And you're gonna reserve some of the cheese also for the top. All right, we're just gonna to toss it to coat. And then we're gonna add the sausage in there as well. And now, mine. Switch sides. Boop, boop. Ooh, that's a little harder. I have to use my hands for that one. Well, my gloved hand. I'll just change them again. So I want it to get all coated. And then we're gonna add the um, sausage. I can't wait to eat this. You can make this all different kind of ways. You can make the sweet with like the, like the cinnamon buns. You can make uh, pizza monkey bread. There's so many different monkey breads. You can just go on a monkey bread kick and not have the same thing twice. All right. I changed my gloves again. Got to add the sausage in there now. Use a slotted spoon so I can get out as much of the grease as possible. Okay. So a tiny bit in there getting ready. So I'm going to have to mix this again. All right, so I mixed Eric's. I added um, just a little bit more cheese to his because it just didn't look like it had enough and I didn't measure his. So I was eyeballing it. And my hazel eyeballs said, don't look like there's a much enough cheese in there, Tina. All right, so I'm going to mix this up so we can get back to, to eating. Just give it a good old mix. Try and make sure the balls aren't all stuck together. It's all mixed through. See, I even think mine needs a little bit more of that cheese. I have some more off to the side because when I shaved it up and then I measured it, it measured more than a cup when I only shaved up eight ounces. What the heck? So I'm gonna stick a little bit more cheese in ours as well. All right. So now we got to get our greased bunt pan and we're going to pour this into the bunt pan. Let's get Eric's first. Okay, starting with Eric, I greased the pan liberally. 
Now we're just gonna lay this in there. He might not need as much on, oops, he just threw it all over the counter. I guess it's gonna be good. Whenever I make a mess, that's what the kids say, the messier the kitchen, the better the food. Hope this isn't too big because they puff up when they cook. <laughs> so just be forewarned that I'm already thinking this thing is gonna puff up, up and over. All right, don't judge me for my pan. This pan leaks. I couldn't find a bump pan that was big enough or small enough. So what I did was I stuck this pan in a pan and I stuck a pie dish down on top of it. So do what you gotta do, you know? I don't always have the supplies. I'm living on a fixed income. So I've got the extra crumbles that drained off. I'm just adding it to the mixture. Okay, same thing, second time around. I'm mixing it, I added the extra cheese in there because I feel like it needed it. All right, so in she goes. She's all tossed in the gravy mixture. She's got plenty of cheese. And we're gonna just put it on down in there. The reason I'm worrying about it leaking is not that I have a lot of liquid in here, but we are pouring liquid on top of it. And I just don't want it all over the place. Then I gotta clean it up. That's never fun. Okay, that's all of this. So we're gonna take what little bit of milk and whatever stuff, stuffing, milk and um, gravy mixture and put it on top of this. You're gonna take the rest of your mixture and you're just gonna drizzle it down over top. This is why I wanted the pan in the bottom. And I'm doing the same thing with Eric's. This is what Eric's is looking like. Now, since his cheese has a strong flavor, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on top. I know it calls for cheddar, but it'll be too much for Eric. The, straw, the flavor is pretty strong. He really loves this Italian blend one. So that's what his looks like. And now what little bit of cheese I have left, we're gonna sprinkle over top of ours. So I got these crumbles left and we're just gonna pour some on top or sprinkle, not pour. This is gonna be cheesy. All right, I think this goes in the oven for 30 minutes, I wanna say. But if I'm wrong, I'll put it somewhere on the screen or I'll tell you. There you go. In the oven, 350, she goes. Made a big old boo-boo. I forgot I wasn't supposed to put the cheese on till the last couple of minutes. So I'm gonna try and pick it off best I can, but that's what we're gonna do. That's the best I could do to fix it. Let me, uh, eh, we'll just mix it in. It'll be all right. It'll just be extra cheesy. And it goes in the oven for 35 minutes. There's Eric's. I'm not gonna add more cheese on it because I put a lot in his and I don't wanna overpower him. And the whole kind of disappeared, but hey. So I'm gonna let that cool for a minute and then we're gonna flip it over and see what it looks like. All right, so there's ours. I'm gonna throw a little bit of cheese on top and stick it back in the oven just till it melts and browns up on top. I used up all of the cheese that I had from Dollar Tree so I just took a little bit out of my personal stash, I guess, and I'm gonna put it right there on top, put it back in the oven so that could melt. Oh, might as well put it all on there, right? All right, there you go. Back in the oven that goes just to melt the cheese. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna flip that over onto that plate and it's gonna pop out. That's the plan. All right, let's give it a go and see if it works, I hope. Still a little warm, so it should come out. Give it a couple taps. Whoa. Boom! I hear, the, you hear them? They say, oh, oh, that's yours, Eric. That's mine? That's yours. What is it? Look at that, it's called monkey bread. Oh, it looks 
They pull off little balls. All right, let me get mine out of the oven and see what she's doing. And look at her! Look at, look at, look at her! All right, I gotta let that cool down for just a minute because if I flip it over now, like this is the top. So you have to flip it over and flip it over. So I need that to cool just a little. All right, I'm just gonna put the plate on top of it and hope it works. Adjust real quick. I don't know if I said click or quick. <laughs> All right, we ready? Here we go. Boom. Booyah! There you go. Now his isn't really cheesy, but I'll bet you it's good as heck. Oh, you can't see the cheese. There's a lot of cheese in it. All righty. She's looking good. Now I got to do the flip and the flop and hope it works out. Uh, look at that. I'm having a hard time flipping it out of that pan, so that's staying. All right, I'll meet you at the table. If you get any benefit at all from my content, you can help me out by clicking like, share, commenting, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. We're at the table! I can't wait. They've been sitting for a minute. I had a little trouble getting it out of here, so I'm just leaving that there because it's not going to make it past that. This is Eric's, and he's going to share. Uh, his has been sitting for... Oh, sorry, let me touch it. His has been sitting for a while, so let's just see. So what you do, Eric, is you grab one of the balls, and you just pull it off. Look at the steam coming out. Woohoo! I didn't want to put more cheese on top of yours because I put a lot inside and yours has a very strong flavor. So if I would have made yours like mine, it would have been too much. Said nobody ever. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mmm. 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 That's really good. You know what I think you could use? What? Like a little marinara sauce and Dip it. Mmm. Oh, I'm grabbing more off of there. I got some here. This is yummy. And it's not like uncooked in the middle. It still looks good. I wish I had a bit of a more cheese bowl for you just for the look, but the flavor is there. It's great. Delicious, right? Yeah. Well, there you have it. I hope you try it. I hope you like it. And let me know. Either way. And before I go, I think I might try the pizza one and then the actual monkey bread, the sweet one with the brown sugar and stuff. I might be coming back with one of those so they can see what, how it started. I think it started with, with the actual uh, brown sugar one, but we'll see. All right. No wrap up. See you later. Bye.